The U.S. Air Force is ramping up its airstrikes in Afghanistan, a sign that hostilities are increasing there as the fight against ISIS in Iraq and Syria seems to be winding down. Lucas Tomlinson has details from the Pentagon. The U.S. military has dropped twice as many bombs on the Taliban and ISIS in Afghanistan this year compared to all last year, a level not seen since 2012, according to a new report by the U.S. Air Force. The rise of strikes coincides with roughly 3,000 additional American troops recently arriving in Afghanistan to ramp up the fight against the Taliban. The new soldiers and Marines will operate closer to the front lines, armed with the ability to call in more air power. Moon, my location. There are now 14,000 U.S. troops on the ground. The U.S. Army's top officer acknowledged the new danger facing his soldiers. If you're out there with the Afghan security forces, there will be an increased risk. <laughs> Over the last six months, the Taliban has increased the amount of territory controls or influences. According to a recent U.S. government watchdog report, the Taliban now controls 13 percent of Afghanistan, compared to 11 percent six months prior. That means 700,000 more people are living under Taliban rule today. Almost half the country lives in districts controlled or contested by the Taliban. But as the U.S. and Afghan army go on the offensive, the number of civilian casualties has risen 52 percent in the first nine months of 2017, compared to the same period a year ago, according to the watchdog report. Earlier this week, four U.S. troops were wounded in a suicide attack in Kandahar, the spiritual home of the Taliban. In late October, Chief Warrant Officer Jacob Sims, a helicopter pilot with the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, died when his MH-47G Chinook crashed outside Kabul. A week later in November, Sergeant First Class Stephen Cribben, a Green Beret, was killed not far from the crash site, the 13th U.S. service member killed in Afghanistan this year. As the ISIS fight in Iraq and Syria winds down, expect more jets to be tasked to Afghanistan. Despite the planned increase, the total number of U.S. bombs dropped there is less than 8 percent of the total number dropped against ISIS in Iraq and Syria. Brett? Lucas Tomlinson at the Pentagon. Lucas, thank you.